think that the best thing about our relationship as you know mum and son but also art partners is that we've always had honesty and, and truth and we've always had like this sense of helping each other out through kind of looking at what would work and what wouldn't. Um, to have a parent who who um, had a year for education up to 1995 when she went she decided to go to TAFE and, and enroll in mature age uh, studies and um, you know then uh, I think in 97 mum did a uh, early childhood course and from that she won most outstanding student or best student for, for the whole TAFE and I was working at the time and went oh god you know my mum's studying and oh wow you know maybe I could do something. So I left a, I basically left a good job um, just to study, you know, because my mum was doing it and I was studying uh, social sciences, anthropology, and um, though, you know, I, I did study, uh, but I spent a lot of time down the art school because I saw how, how, how creative they were and how all the beautiful stories that people were talking and, and telling through their art. And, and um, that's how my kind of art career kind of developed through through my mum teaching me at home, and and <laughs> she goes, oh, I'll sneak it into to curtain and I'll print it out for you, and <laughs> and done a few a few cool things like that. And mum mum has always kind of said, oh, you know, you don't you don't have to follow a particular style, you know, do whatever you want, you know, I'll oh, do this, do that. She kind of helped me compose my works, and um, so. And now, now that I suppose with, with my daughter now, it's that passing on. So you could say we've, in our family, we've got three generations of printmakers, mm -hmm. not just two. She had a copper plate and um, I think Martin King, who was the master printmaker there, and he said, oh, here you go. And mum, mum did a, a sugar lift etching and she finished it in half a day. So. To give mum something else to do, to you know, so she didn't twiddle her thumbs and I don't know, mm. distract anyone else like you do, me. Yeah. Um, they gave her a lino, and the second uh, print that she did um, was was the first contact mm. print, and um, which got translated into the, the amazing five and a half meter Elizabeth Key sculpture. Mostly people like to look at mum's design because it's, it is not only the figures that she actually um, um, does really well within her, her prints, but there are little kind of design aspects in the trees and um, different kind of bushes that she does, she does kind of do, um, which we, if we talk about the Carol Up works and um, you could see that there could be some kind of correlation, um, some beautiful correlation in, in, in different kind of trees, tree aspects. Such an iconic kind of style, because it's different country, and mm. of course, and you know, your country reflects your culture in, in a lot of ways. And um, yeah, so so yeah, it's beautiful. Beautiful.